Hey everyone, this is the Loose Cannon, David McBee, and we are about eight minutes from tip-off of our game for this evening. It is the Senior Boys of Cotter taking on the Senior Boys of Yellville. Should be a great matchup right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We're about seven minutes away from tip-off. Stay tuned. Hey, Joey. Dave, what's up? This is Coach Musselman, Arkansas Razorbacks. Hey, I know you guys are huge North Central Arkansas basketball fans. And I uh, just wanted to thank you uh, for streaming high school sports for all the local stations in North Central Arkansas. I know you've done over 250 basketball games in the past three years as volunteers. Incredible uh, to volunteer all that time and energy and enthusiasm uh, to help youth sports. You've helped parents, grandparents, um, and just in general, um, especially during these COVID restrictions. So Dave and Joey, awesome work, man. Keep it up. Everyone, this is the Loose Cannon, David McPhee. We're still about two and a half minutes away from the start of our matchup tonight. It's going to be Cotter taking on Yellville. Uh, it's not a doubleheader tonight, though. It's just going to be the senior high boys game, the senior high girls game. Unfortunately, uh, 
was canceled this evening, so it'll be senior high boys, but it should be quite a matchup right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Stay tuned. Here we go, starting lineups for tonight's matchup. Should be a good one. Cotter and Yelvo right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. I want to thank everyone for tuning in and joining us this evening, bringing us into your home. As we get ready for the starting lineups, going to be first for our visiting Yelville Summit Panthers. Number one, Mason Spence. Number five, or number 11, sorry, Robert Howell. Number 13, Dawson Dillard. Number 23, 
Turner Nickerson, I believe. Unfortunately, uh, some of these names not on our roster, guys. But And here comes the starting lineup for the Cotter Warriors. And that goes through the Arbes Tournament. This is our first matchup of the regular season. Number 13, Hudson Adams. Number zero, Trace Ewing. Number 15, Haynes. Number two, Colton Jones. Number two, Colton Jones. And number 11, Hayden Hudson. Of course, the uh, Panthers coached by head coach Hunter Sims. And then the Cutter Warriors coached by head coach Jackson Reigns. As we get ready for the opening tip off. And the deal maker, Joey Shaw, he made it. Hopefully I got the equipment set up right. We, we do have a new equipment set up, so. So this is going to be a good matchup. This Jim's Electric uh, for Cotter tonight. It's blackout night. You notice a lot of uh, parents over there wearing black, back in black jerseys. So I think there's going to be a lot of ACDC playing tonight. As here we go, the opening tip off. As the deal maker too, he's checking out our audio, making sure. Everything's set up, ready to go. Remember, guys, this is an interactive broadcast. Love to see your comments online. Let us know who you're cheering for. Are you cheering for the Panthers? Are you cheering for the Warriors? Let us know. And the opening tip off, the Warriors win it. And we're off and running. They go into Hudson right away. Spin move, buckets good, and the Warriors jump out to a quick two to nothing lead. Still on the play, Jones takes it in. Nice defensive play there by number 13, Dillard. Looks like Russ online uh, says go Cotter, so we'd love to hear who you're cheering for. Bucket, shot is up, bucket is good. Hudson gets the score, and Cotter jumps up four to nothing early. Looks like foul is on number 11, Hal. Hudson hits the free throw, so Cotter jumps up 5-0 here in the first 20 seconds, putting on a press. Pass ahead to Hal, the speedster. Nice move by Hal, gets the bucket. And Yelville now on the board, 5-4, or 5-2. They go to Adams. Course conference matchup here, they go into Adams, a spin move. Misses a shot, misses his tip, gets his own rebound. Of course, looking on the floor, Cotter has a huge size advantage down low with Adams and Hudson. Right. This is a speedy bunch over here at Yellville. Of course, Hal, we got a chance to watch him during the football season with a great season for the Panthers. Looks like online we got Principato, Eric Principato saying go Cotter. We got Denise Burrow, go Cotters. Anna Haynes says go Warriors. That's Kaylee and Anna from Fayetteville. And Ken Newton says way to go Hudson. We'd love to hear a lot of Panther fans, Warrior fans, big crowd tonight. Three point shot from the corner. Nice stroke and Adams. This Cotter bunch coming up, fired up here early. Pass almost stolen by Ewing. Now here goes the Panthers setting up offense. Of course, the Panthers right now playing without their uh, their high scoring guard, David DeRosier. Fortunately, he is out with an injury. So someone's got to step up in the scoring column for the Panthers. They go over to Jones, Jones hesitates. Over to Haynes, Haynes drives, slices, dices, 
bucket is good. And Cotter jumps up to a 10 to two lead. And putting a lot of pressure on defense. Panthers try to go inside, pass is stolen by Adams, gets it ahead to Jones. Jones goes into Haynes, Haynes with the spin move, shot is good, and we got a timeout on the floor as Cotter jumps up to a quick 12-2 lead right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Of course, we couldn't do this without our great sponsors, such as Diatley Dental, Great smiles start with Irvin and Christina Diatli. Also, Letty's Fine Mexican Dining in, uh, it's award-winning Mexican dining in Gasville. Stop by and see Domi. Tell her the Twin Lakes Sports Network sent you. Also, Ozark Fireplace. Hey, it's getting cold outside. Make sure your fireplace is ready for the winter. Give them a call, 430-5966, or check them out online, www.ozarkfireplace.com. Also, Premier Auto Interiors, give Phil Hudnall a call, specializing in velour, vinyl, leather repair, dye processing. Over 15 years experience, and we go back to action on the floor. We do have some new equipment we're testing out tonight, so we're gonna work on a few things. Getting ready for our regular season coverage. Hudson drives in, draws the foul. Bucket is good. Okay, thank you, Patrick Shields. Uh, number five for Yellville. Actually, uh, if I remember uh, Landon, I think he made that incredible play. Yellville Summit football season, the uh, you know, basically, I think he stripped the ball from a guy, took it to the house. Remember calling that play, so glad to see uh, Landon Kiter. And I apologize, just half of the names aren't on the roster for some reason that we got off of a scorebook live. So Kiter and Howe, two players we got to see on the football field this fall covering the Yellville Summit Panthers as Dillard sets up the offense for the Panthers. They try to get it into Howe. Hudson gets the steal, takes it in the lefty, shot is short, loose ball, battling for it. And there's gonna be a foul on the play. Looks like foul's gonna be on number two, Majesty. That's his first, third on the team. Inside pass to McGee. And the Warriors jump up 14 here in the first. Ball stolen from Howe. Tries to get it ahead to Ewing. Pass just a little long, out of bounds. As Yelville dodged a bullet there. Jump shots up, is short. Rebound there by Ewing. Again, Hudson takes it in. And the Warrior offense just on fire here in the first couple minutes of the game. So foul is gonna be on number 13. That's on Dillard, that's gonna be his second. Team's fourth here in the opening minutes. I think we got the deal maker joining us. He he's live now, pal. I'm live, pal. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear the smooth sound of Joey Shaw's voice. First free throw attempt is a one-on-one -on -one attempt, no good. Rebound by Hal. So Joey is literally cooler than the other side of the pillow. So like we had to get a mic. We got a sweet setup. I got some pictures of. We'll share on our page later. We couldn't have done it without our great sponsors. Yeah, we'll uh, learn how to work this equipment. Have a little bit of a learning curve, but I think we'll handle it. 
Of course, we'll have quite a few games coming up. Billy Fly tournament coming up soon. Bullet into McGee. McGee with the strong move. Gets the bucket. And the Cotter offense just can't miss here in the first four minutes. Pass the tip to number five. Keeter a little high out of bounds. So now ball back to Cotter. Cotter defense forcing a lot of turnovers here early, Joey. Yeah, what I've noticed is the explosiveness of Cotter. Uh, this first game I've got to watch them play. So uh, like what I'm seeing. Of course, early season matchup. We got a chance to see the Warriors over at the Arvest Tournament. This is our first time getting to see this Senior Panther boys team. We have covered the Senior Panther girls team. But we'll be covering both of these teams a lot through the year. Go inside to Ewing. Ewing with the spin move. Shot's no good. Nice play by Hal. Strips it away. Nice give and go. Shot's up. Good pass inside. Shot just no good. But good ball movement there by the Panthers. And Adams making it look easy. Extends it now. Cotter has jumped up 20 to two. Ball out of bounds over to Cotter. But yeah, Joey, we're gonna have to take a picture. We got some sweet, uh, we got a sweet new setup here that we're gonna have to show the fans later. Yeah, hopefully uh, the sound is uh, maybe improved. Uh, we had good sound before, I thought, but uh, this right here is a step up. We are now broadcasting to you guys live in stereo. So let us know, uh, how does it sound out there to you? Yeah, we are kind of working our way through it, learning about what all works on this uh, equipment. Into Ewing, he drives, tries to dish it to McGee. Loose ball, that's gonna be a, looks like it's gonna be a foul. On Cotter, looks like that's gonna be on number 13, Adams. That's his first. Uh, second on the team. And now 2.20 to go here in the first quarter. Fast moving first quarter. I gotta get my score caught up. It's actually 22 to two, so. This has been a very fast, pa very fast paced game so far. I tell you, I'm, I'm used to covering volleyball. It takes me a little bit uh, to get used to this uh, fast-paced basketball back and forth on the court here, Dave. Three-point shot from outside. up off the back of the rim. McGee gets the board. Yellow's had a couple good looks here in the first quarter, just shots not dropping early. McGee backs it down, spin moves, shot is up. Oh, they're gonna get him with the travel. As McGee made a strong move, but took one step too many, so it's gonna go back to Yellow Summit. Lob ahead, shot is up, no good. Adams gets the board. Adams takes it the length of the court and draws the foul. Looks like that's gonna be the second foul on Majesty. As Adams gonna go to the line in the act of shooting, so gonna get two shots here. First free throw is short. Of course, big crowd. You know, uh, Yellville always has a huge crowd that comes out and supports her teams. Big crowd again from Cotter. So tell basketball season is here on the TLSN. Yeah, every year we comment about the uh, student section over at Yellville. Pass off the fingertips of Cotter out of bounds, so Yellville forces the turnover. Both of these schools are a lot of fun to cover. And of course, on our page right now too, for those Bobcat fans out there, Leopard Sports Media tonight is broadcasting the, uh, the game at Flippin', Alpena versus Flippin', drive 
Shot no good. As Hudson and Norberg fighting for the rebound. Looks like foul's gonna be on Norberg. That's his first, but uh, so we do have that link on our page for those Bobcat fans. They can watch that with our good friends over at Leopard Sports Media. They're streaming tonight's flipping Bobcat game. Go inside to Hudson's nice spin move with the nice touch off the back of the rim. Bucket's good, 24-22, or 24-2. Cotter defense forced quite a few turnovers. Now nice drive inside. Yellville's just had a lot of shots just rimming out. That was a nice move by Kider. And I'll tell you, uh, I will say, he had probably our play of the year this year in football. Uh, the strip play that he made when, you know, Yellville scored 24 points in the last nine minutes. Come behind victory. How from outside, shot is short. Uh, where it was off of a kickoff, just stripped it. As Haynes at the buzzer, shot is no good. Fast moving first quarter as Cotter jumps out to a quick 24 to two lead here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We'll step away and be right back in a minute. Okay, we are back. Uh, second quarter, Cotter with an offensive explosion here in the first quarter. Jumps up 24 to two here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Uh, gonna catch you up on a few comments. We got Travis Spence saying, sounds great. Appreciate it, Travis. Also, uh, Tamaya Strain, go Panthers. Gene Perryman, go Cotter. Let's know who you're cheering for. You're cheering for the Panthers or the Warriors. We'd love to hear from you. As we start the second quarter as just Cotter from the field just on fire. They try to get it inside to Norberg. Ball's knocked out of bounds. But I did snap a picture of our equipment setup. It, it, we do have a pretty sweet new setup because of all of our great sponsors that you see those ads on. Uh, that's what the money goes for us to have equipment so we can provide this coverage. And uh, I'll share a picture of that later tonight. It's a pretty sweet, sweet setup. Drive inside, shot is up. Shot's no good. Hudson pulls down the rebound, so. Yellville just struggling early offensively. As Hudson just scoring at will down low with the beautiful spin move. And that's gonna be a foul on number 15. That's on Haynes. That's his first, third on the team. Right now, six fouls on Yellville. I'll tell you what, Joey, it's just great having fans again. Last year, you know, we would do these games and we never had to contend with any uh, crowd noise. So it's great to have the crowds back and uh, both of these teams, these great fans. Uh, we really missed them last year. Yeah, the atmosphere just wasn't the same without the fans. So uh, this, is, this is great. So ball back to Cotter and Haynes gonna walk it up. A 
course, regular season for the next two months. We're going to be pretty busy. We're going to, there'll be a weekly game of the week. Also, a little bonus tournament coverage. We're going to be broadcasting some of the Billy Ply tournament this year. So, inside to Adams. A lot of traffic. Gets a shot. Gets his own rebound. Cotter just taking advantage of the height. Advantage down low, just owning the offensive boards here early. As Joey, of course, over here, Cotter, they're having blackout night. Of course, they had a uh, tailgate rally sponsored by Arvest Bank. Three-point shot from the outside is no good. How gets the rebound. But I did save a burger for you in the corner, but it's been sitting there for a little while, so. What? During halftime, we'll have to uh, we'll have to get a burger. Of course, the meat for today's cookout provided by Allen's Meat, and uh, over at Allen's Grocery in Summit. And uh, I'll tell you, that is definitely the place to meet. They got the best meat at Allen's, and I appreciate them being the sponsor. It would have been nice to have a ribeye. I've been really craving a ribeye from Allen's as as Dillard hits the first free throw. So that stops a huge run for Cotter that's extended their lead to 23. Still plenty of time left for the Panthers, but they need to get going offensively. Looks like online we got Tammy Spears saying, go Warriors, Cindy McCullough. Uh, way to go Warriors, go Hudson and Thomas. Way to go Cotter Warriors. Gene Perryman, yay Hudson. So a lot of, a lot of uh, Hayden Hudson fans online like Shauna Martin online watching from Little Rock says, go Warriors, uh, go Justin Martin, Tiffany Rogers, go Cotter. Right now, Blue Wave online. Hey, Panther fans, we want to hear from you too. Let us know if there's a player we need to give a shout out for. And I am looking forward. We did get a chance to cover the uh, Lady Panthers tonight with that game being canceled, but we're looking forward to covering them. That's going to be a fun team this year. Got a chance to uh, see their run in the Arvest Tournament all the way to the Consolation Championship. Now 5.23 left here in the first quarter. Or second quarter, first half. And get out to Haynes. Haynes, they're gonna get him with the travel. As Dillard bringing it up. Dillard drives. Dish in the corner. Spence for three. Good look there by Spence. Shot doesn't go. Jones gets the board and pushes the pace down the court. Nice spin move by Jones. And they're going to get Martin with an over the back. And that's going to be number five on the Warriors. That's two on Martin. As Joey, we finally get Joey a mic and he can't talk. He's sitting over here gagging. Got something caught in his throat, so we'll get him to join us here on, on the mic soon. As Cutter is pushed out of bounds. Foul's gonna be on number 23, Martin. That's three fouls in about a minute for Martin. Nice spin move, takes it in. Kyder, shot's no good. Principato with the baseball pass ahead to Jones. Takes it in, draws the foul, hits the bucket. Beautiful play by Jones. And this first half explosion on offense for Cotter. Now they've extended the lead to 25 with Jones trying to complete the three-point play. Free throw by Jones is no good. A lot of contact down low by Martin, no call. Three-point shot 
from Stephen Curry range. No good, Prince Pato with another board. I will say number 24, Prince of Pato, definitely wins the, uh, the coolest looking headband we've seen so far this season. Ball out of bounds off of Yellville, gonna stay with Cotter. Jones gonna inbound it. Again, shout out to the uh, Yellville Summit Panther football squad. Uh, great season. Good run. Uh, season just came to the end a couple weeks ago, but we had a blast covering head coach Justin Crane in that squad. And look forward to covering them again next year as Hal, the uh, quarterback for the Panthers. Tries to throw a cross court pass, knocked out of bounds off of Yellville. They try a backdoor pass, it's... Ball's knocked out of bounds, who's just gonna stay with it? It's off of Cotter, or I'm sorry, it's off of Yellville. So now possession's gonna go back to Cotter. And Coach Hunter Sims of the uh, Yellville Summit Panthers also coaches the girls team, so he pulls a lot of duty. Always does a great job with his squads. This is early in the se season, so a long way to go. With both of these squads. Hal almost gets a steal. They go into Martin, just short of the free throw line. He hits the jump shot. And Martin gets his first bucket of the game. Spins it now, 30 to three. Shots up, no good, loose ball. Panthers hustling, tried to make the save, couldn't get it, steps out of bounds. So it's gonna go back to Cotter with 2.12 to go. Of course, Joey this weekend, big show coming up this weekend, Joey. Mid-States Wrestling, Harrison, Arkansas. Or, or I'm sorry, not this weekend, the 18th. I'm, I'm getting my weeks messed up. You're getting excited. Yeah, December 18th, huge event coming up, Mid-States Wrestling, Joey. Yeah, I hear somebody big's gonna be there. Yeah, the mouth of the South. The mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be making his debut, Joey, uh, at Mid-States Wrestling, WWE Hall of Famer. And uh, TLSN, we're gonna be over covering that. Probably gonna try to get some interviews and all sorts of things. December 18th, get your tickets now at mswtickets.com. Or if you're over in Harrison, check out the uh, Cash Saver grocery store and get your tickets today before they're sold out. It'll be good to see Jimmy Hart. Yeah, the mouth of the South. You know he's gonna be talking, you know he's gonna be hawking stuff. Who knows, he might try to charge us to be interviewed. <laughs> no, surely not. I don't know, That's I'm looking forward to the deal maker getting a chance to sit down with WWE Hall of Famer. The mouth of the South, turnover. Yellville ball back to Cotter, but check out that event. I know they're gonna have some big time matchups. I think they're looking at having seven or eight matches. Not a bad seat in the house at Mid-States Wrestling. No, and it's always uh, family friendly as well. Yellville playing much better defense here in this second quarter, just unfortunately unable to hit a shot. They've had some good looks, but Almost seems like there's something on the top of the rim blocking the shot from going in. Ewing drives, shots up, nice play by Ewing. Gets the bucket and extends it now to a 29 point lead for Cotter. Cotter drives, takes it in, draws contact. 
Nice play by number five, Landon Kider. And Joey, you know, remember that play, the, the strip, the kickoff, uh, I think they were down, I can't, I can't remember, they were down maybe one or two scores, uh, kickoff, short kickoff, and uh, number five, Landon Kider just, he literally just ripped it from the opposing players. The, the guy caught it, short kickoff, he catches it. He literally just rips it from him, takes it to the house. After that, Yellville Summit just took over. Huge come from behind victory. I know we're getting ready to post that game up on our YouTube page uh, for those who didn't see it. That was definitely our play of the year in football. Oh, for sure. And uh, it was it was funny to watch because whenever he did strip the ball, the other player just kind of looked at him like he couldn't believe that just happened. And uh, he took it all the way to the house. And I believe uh, there were several news stations that picked that clip up of ours and uh, talked about it in the news. Uh, Martin misses a second. McGee gets the rebound. Nice spin move by McGee with the putback. Right now under 20 seconds. Of course, at halftime, we'll step away for a few minutes, run some sponsor ads, and eat some of these wonderful Allen's burgers that we got here. Because Allen's a place to meet since 1954. Three seconds, two, one, shot is up. At the buzzer, nothing but net. What a shot by number 30, Evans. As everything Cotter is throwing up is going down. And we go to halftime, and it is Cotter 38, Yellville 3 here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. So we'll step away. We'll be back in a few minutes right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network.
Hey, Joey. Dave, what's up? This is Coach Musselman, Arkansas Razorbacks. Hey, I know you guys are huge North Central Arkansas basketball fans. And I uh, just wanted to thank you uh, for streaming high school sports for all the local stations in North Central Arkansas. I know you've done over 250 basketball games in the past three years as volunteers. Incredible uh, to volunteer all that time and energy and enthusiasm uh, to help youth sports. You've helped parents, grandparents, um, and just in general, um, especially during these COVID restrictions. So Dave and Joey, awesome work, man. Keep it up. We get ready to go back to action on the floor. Third quarter, it's been all Cotter so far. Cotter's jumped up out 38 to three. Just uh, everything they're throwing up is going, including a three point shot. Heave at the buzzer that was nothing but net. As a blue wave over here in Cotter tonight. As we get ready to start the second half, Cotter's gonna get the ball first. Of course, this is the loose cannon, David McBee. I got the one and only, the deal maker, uh, Joey Shaw with me. We well, thank each and every one of you for joining us tonight uh, for this uh, great matchup between the Cotter Warriors and the Yellville Panthers. Of course, uh, Joey, uh, during our break there, shout out to our good friend, Eric Musselman, head coach of the Arkansas Razorbacks. He sent us a pretty sweet uh, shout out. Really appreciate that. First free throw is good. But uh, I thought that was a pretty cool shout out. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, I will say though, his number was a little high. Whoever told him to give us a shout out said 250. Actually, I think we're closer to 200. But we'll be 250 by the end of this season. So they must have been thinking ahead, right, Joey? That's right. They knew, they knew all the games we cover. Drive inside dish. Goes off of Ewing, out of bounds. Gonna stay with Yellville. And also shout out our, our good friend, uh, the bad street beauty, Miranda Gordy. That's who was, uh, who said we're watching uh, Twin Lakes Sports Network. Of course, that's the daughter of WWE Hall of Famer, former fabulous, or former Freebird, Terry Bam Bam Gordy. And Bam Bam right there for Dawson Dillard. From outside, nice shot there by Dillard. But of course, uh, Miranda's gonna be in a couple weeks, she's gonna be over in Harrison at Mid-States Wrestling. Yeah, so uh, get your tickets now, you see her, and uh, like I said, on the 18th of December, go over see Jimmy Hart. Some of the best independent wrestling talent in America right here in North Central Arkansas. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a slobber knocker of a night. Miranda, she's been all over lately. Yeah, she's been in AEW, the NWA, uh, all those, uh, you know, some of the biggest organizations in the world. She had a, recently had a tryout with the WWE, so we wish her nothing but well. As Dillard goes in, unable to hit the shot, and they're going to get number five. They're going to get Kyder with the foul. That's going to be his first. If I remember right, she was there uh, at the Hall of Fame induction, and they when they – she, I guess she took and uh, went up there and they presented her with the ring. What an honor that was for her. As Terry Bam Bam Gordy uh, was a great wrestler, I'll tell you what, uh, Hudson Adams, we might have to call him Bam Bam because he's just been he's just been automatic from outside. As you could say, he's like a car wash. He's just automatic as having a great game. Because right now, Cotter's extended their lead back to 35. Pass high. And Spence gonna get the backcourt violation. Of course, early season game, both of these team are conference rivals. Hayden Hudson with the turnaround, strong move, hits the bucket. 
And Cotter now extends her lead up 37. Of course, if you're watching online, if there's a player you want to give a shout out, shot by Yellow's no good. Will it pass ahead to Jones? Beautiful play. And right now the Warriors just kind of putting on a clinic here, extended it to 45 to six. Of course, tonight's not a doubleheader. The senior girls game was canceled. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's going to be replayed or if it was a forfeit. Don't know the info on that. Kyder from three. We'll say Panthers still playing hard despite being down 39. They're showing Panther pride right now and hoping they can. This is one of those games now when you're down 39, maybe start working on stuff, getting ready for your next game. As Dillard drives in, he is fouled. Of course, this is a long season. These teams, they're gonna face each other quite a bit. Cotter now coming back the other way. They get to Ewing. He drives, dishes it to Adams. Adams just smooth as silk on that one. Takes it in, gets the bucket. Now extends it largest lead of the night, 41. Dave, correct me if I'm wrong, because this is the first time I've seen Cotter play this year. But from last year, it's sure this is this is a different team. A lot faster pace uh, ball playing here. Well, of course, this squad, a uh, senior squad, a lot of a uh, lot of senior players. Uh, Yellville last year, they had a lot of seniors on their squad, so kind of a youth movement that's here in Yellville this year. A lot of juniors and sophomores on the team. Martin from the free throw line, nice play by Martin. And I will say, you know, as early as it is in the season, too, Joey, uh, you know, it's uh, when we're first week of December, still got two months to go, so a lot of time. But the Warriors looking really good. Of course, they uh, took the consolation championship over at the Arvest tournament, which we covered. After uh, losing their first game they've, at that tournament, they've actually been on a roll since then. And now have improved the record to eight and five, trying to get to nine and five, nine and five tonight. Now I have to be honest about that. You said we. Now you covered a lot of that. I, I got over there when I could, but David covered a lot of that game, uh, those games, and then uh, thankful we had some uh, interns come over and help us out as well. I think they had a good time with you. Yeah, we had quite a few people. Like even tonight, Joey. I know uh, that's the thing people don't realize. You know, you don't get off work till six. A lot of these games, as Norberg hits the free throw, nice shot by Norberg. Uh, you know, people don't realize a lot of times you're not going to be there at the start. So uh, we had a couple of interns ready to fill in tonight before you walked up. So I uh, appreciate those. Uh, you know, we had several young men helping us out. The, the future of uh, broadcasting. Yeah, I think Ryan, Ryan Burton was one. We had Caleb Shaw. We had Bo Wood. Still there by Yelville. Kider takes it in. He is rejected. Beautiful play by number 30, Evans. He's got to hit a big three, or, and then huge block on what could have been a layup for Yellville. Brings the crowd to their feet with 3.42 to go. Hal drives, runner is no good. Norberg battling. Shot by Norberg's no good. As Williams brings it back the other way, gets it over to Principato. Evans for three. Shot's no good. Williams gets the board. I'd like to see Principato shoot one. As Evans hits it. As everyone getting in the scorebook right now for Cotter. What you could say is they didn't make the scorebook. You made the Baxter Bulletin, because if you score, you know our good friend Neil Denton, he's going to have them. Listed in that box score. Nice drive, strong move. 
Fouls on the floor, so shot. Yeah, I seen Neil down there in the crowd when I came in earlier. Looks like foul is gonna be on number 33, McGee. That's his second. Right now, three fouls on Cotter, two on Yellville. Norberg gets it in the corner. We'll say Yellville showing patience on their shot. It's making passes, but unfortunately, bad pass there. As Principato steals it from his own player, Williams. Clock running, 2.17 to go. Going to be a running clock here in the fourth. And we did have a, Tamani Strain was asking us on our page did, why we didn't broadcast the senior girls game. Uh, that's because there was no senior girls game. His shot rolls in and out. McGee gets the board for Cotter. It looks like he's going to be fouled by number 21, Norberg. I'll say Norberg was another one. We got a chance to watch him during the football season make quite a few big plays on defense for that Yellville Summit Panther football squad. That was a lot of fun this year uh, covering the Yellville Panthers uh, football. Uh, I tell you, it was a blast. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Get it to Principato. Principato over to Ewing. Inside to McGee. McGee just with a couple strong moves and now extends it to a 46 point lead. Of course, this Cotter squad has a lot of seniors on it. Yellville, basically sophomores and juniors. So good experience for that squad is Evans from the corner. And this crowd erupts as Cotter now has exploded to a 56 to seven score here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. One twenty-two to go here in the third, according to our Shark Creek graphic clock. So Vance Vision Clinic, Marion County Farm Bureau, Arena Sports Grill, Genuine Care Pharmacy, and Flippin' and Sonic and Gasville. Appreciate all these local businesses. As the runner is no good. Looks like foul's gonna be on number four. That's on Williams. Talking about covering the football. You know, we start off, we're sweating at the beginning of the season, and then by the time football ends, we're, we're freezing. Yeah, but we've got to throw a shout out as and we're waiting. As they say, the foul was on the floor, so the basket does not count. Foul's going to be on number 30, Evans. That's his first. to Haynes for three. Got a short rebound. And unfortunately, I don't have a number 32 on the roster. It was given to us, so good rebound. They go inside to Norberg, and they're going to get McGee with an over-the-back call. Of course, want to thank everyone for tuning in tonight here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We got a lot of basketball ahead of us. This is uh, the beginning of the season for us. Yeah, the Arbest Tournament usually kicks off our season. Three point shot, nice shot by number 13, Dawson Dillard. And this is the kickoff of basketball season. It's going to be a two-month blitz. We're going to have a game of the week weekly. And then, of course, we'll bonus coverage. Shot at the buzzer. It's no good by McGee. So we go to the fourth. And right now it is all Cotter. It's Cotter 56, 
Yellville 10 right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Of course, we couldn't do this without our great sponsors. And all these sponsors that they see here, Joey, they need to, they need to do business with them, don't they? That's right. Like a White River Material. You know, if you need any building material, these are your guys. Call them today, White River Material. Look them up on Facebook. And Bearded Brothers, Seamless Gutters. Man, I've seen a lot of the work. They've been posting lots of pictures. They do wonderful work. Uh, two great guys right there. Give them a call. Josh, and Josh Dalton and Tyler Guthrie. And ooh la la. I think David loves to go there. It's his uh, get out of jail card with his wife. When he gets in trouble, he goes to ooh la la and picks up a gift certificate for great things there at ooh la la in Yeoville. And Farm Bureau Insurance, home auto health and life. Call Shane today. Well, we get ready to go back on the floor and yeah, you mentioned ooh la la. I'll tell you, you know, all you guys out there, you know, trying to figure out Christmas gifts. You know, what what should I get for the wife? What should I get for maybe I got someone in the, maybe I got a couple ladies in the office that I work with. Not sure what to get for them. Get them a gift certificate at ooh la la boutique and gifts. It'll definitely make you go ooh la la. As Dillard from downtown step back, shot is no good. Prince Pato gets it. Evans throws a missile. Yeah, I found some really cool socks for the kids there at Ooh La You never know what they're going to have in there. Very, lots of unique gifts. Well, I know last year they had these Rambo socks that were awesome. See, that's what I'm talking about. And I waited too long to try to get those things. Uh -huh. And uh, by the time I got up there, I saw them on Facebook. By the time I got up there, they were gone. So uh, I kind of missed out there. Yeah, if she posts something that you like, you got to get up there. Has foul on the play. It's on number 24, Principato. And Kiter going to go the line, the lefty. Shot is short. Rebound there by Williams. Of course, running clock with the score. So this fourth quarter is going to go by pretty quick. As Dillard, he's made a couple good plays here in the second half. Takes it in with the finger roll. Misses the shot. Manages to get his own rebound. Oh, good look by Dillard, but. Knocked away as Jones comes back the other way and hits the bucket. Of course, our next game coverage will be December the 10th. I mean, who would have thought tomorrow's December? December the 10th, it's going to be homecoming here at Cotter. We'll be covering it. It's Decatur at Cotter right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Then right after that, uh, we'll have the Billy Ply tournament coming up as Skyder from outside. Shot is no good. Spence gets the rebound. Over to Dillard, Dillard tries to get it inside. Pass knocked away, good play by Principato. Ahead to Williams, Williams with a finger roll, misses it. McGee unable to follow through. Pass Dillard from the corner. Jevo getting looks just all night long, struggling from the field. Looks like they're going to get Principato. That's going to be his second. As Spence now to the line. As they're waiting for McGee to tie his shoe. He gets it tied. Gonna be running clock here in the fourth. This Spence hits the first free throw. Of course, too, Yellville usually gets a late start in basketball. A lot of them, like, you know, why have they played so many fewer games? Uh, you know, have a lot of these players play on the football squad. So it is uh, kind of a challenge for the game at the beginning of the season, but I know Coach Hunter Sims, he'll have this team primed. Later in the year, and it's off of. Looks like it's off Yellow. Going to stay with Cotter. They go to Principato. Turnover, now going to go back the other way, Yellville. 
Cutter, the nice spin move, the floater, nice play. By number five, Landon Kyder. Over to Jones, Jones for three. So that's no good, Dillard comes away with it. As he tries going over to Kyder, luckily. Gets it to him, the follow up by Spence, back to back buckets, nice play there by Yellville. That's one of those things, Joey. I mean, when you're down 43, I mean, the game's obviously over. Uh, chance for some practice as Evans with his third three. Like the old game, the NBA Jam. He's on fire, Dave. Yeah, you could say three cola from outside. I guess you could say he is, uh, dare I say, in fuego from outside. There you go. Loose ball, Kyder gets the board, the runner. Nice play. But a lot of, you know, these games, it's a chance to get uh, a lot of guys a chance to play early in the season. But right now, Kyder, on a roll, gonna improve to nine and five tonight. Evans again, the bank was not open that time. And now 2.33 to go for Yellville. Shot is up. Come on, shoot it, Principato. There you go. He <laughs> heard you, Dave. I mean, I was like, you got to shoot that one, Prince Lopato. Actually, I went to school with his dad, so. Uh, he had a couple good looks and wasn't shooting it, but um, good to see a fellow classmate's son get a bucket. Ball knocked out of bounds. If I recall, his dad, though, wasn't, he wasn't a uh, shooter from outside. He was more, you know, had those nifty moves inside. Nice little ball fakes back in the day. As Evans, again, is 4-3. So right now, 117 to go. But uh, of course, his dad, Mark Prince Pato, good ball player that I played back with in the day. He's a tall guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a tall guy. Prince Apato, is he gonna make it two in a row? There you go. Just like his daddy popping it from outside. Hopefully his dad gets to watch this. If he's not watching live, hopefully he gets to see it later. He better be following. If he's not following our page, I'd be very disappointed in Mark Principato. And now a great play there by Principato. Now Yovo coming back. And of course, Yovo just starting off their basketball season. We'll be covering them a lot this year. Looking forward to covering them and the Lady Panthers. We always love going over to Yellville and covering uh, Hunter Sims and April Martin and that squad over there. They do a tremendous job. And hey, it's early in the season, but right now, Cotter, they come out storming with a big 70 to 17 victory here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. And uh, so Cotter takes the victory in this senior boys game. No senior girls game tonight. But we'd like to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in. And if you haven't done it yet, make sure that you uh, like and follow our page. 
Uh, we'll be back on December the 10th to be our next game. It's going to be Decatur right here at Cotter on homecoming night for Cotter. So Cotter takes the victory. Also, I know uh, Flippin's playing Alpena tonight. Uh, I know you can check out those games with our good friends over at the Leopard Sports Network. But for all of us here at the Twin Lakes Sports Network, we'll be back on December 10th. That's our next game. Also, a lot of bonus coverage coming with the Billy Ply Tournament. We're going to be covering five games during that tournament. Uh, we'll have those games announced soon. Also, we'll be covering a lot of Flippin'. Yellville, Cotter, we're going to be in all three of those towns covering our teams right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. So from the loose cannon, David McBee and the one and only Joey the Dealmaker Shaw, you want to send us out, Joey? Hey, guess what? I didn't have my mic turned up. So I think you said uh, it's time to close up and go home. Yeah, I'll let you close us out for tonight. Well, hey, thank you guys for joining us tonight here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. We hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And, uh, hey, we'll see you next time right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. You guys have a blessed night. Everybody at home, uh, there's, I see we have a few people on. We were just playing around with our new equipment and uh, we thought we might just uh, share it with you. So here's some of the stuff that we have. And uh, like I said, we're just two guys up here. We enjoyed what we're doing and we're having a blast. We got some really neat new equipment. And like any kid with a new toy, you've got to play with it, right, Dave? So here's a nice little intro. Check this out. So there's a little intro, and then we got some other stuff I'm gonna show you here. I think you'll like. So like uh, Dave's a, a comedian, tells a lot of jokes. So uh, we we got this in there for him. <laughs> yeah. So somebody's gonna be laughing at your jokes. You know, an event of something sad happens. We got this one. <laughs> and you know, you never know when something scary might happen. Well, or Joey, I got a feeling uh, we probably better <laughs> close up or we're going to get locked in the gym because this place is emptying out quick. But uh, hey, for everyone tuning in, we appreciate you and have a great week. Uh, we'll see you next time here on December 10th, right back here at Cotter, taking on Decatur.